Hey, what's up devs? Welcome back to WebDev Channel. In today's episode, I want to show you how easy it is to use the Fetch API to get some data from any external API and manipulate and show it on your website. In this project, we have two placeholders for some images and when you click a button, we get the random cat or dog pictures. Stick to the end of this video because by doing that, you will learn how to use API all by yourself. Okay, Dev, as always, let's start really from the beginning, okay? Always on the same page. Let's start out by creating our markup index. The second one is going to be our presentation layer, okay? Style.css and for the behavior app.js. In here, let's create our markup. Go to here to the title, and in the title, let's say something like JavaScript fetch API simple example. Okay, it's gonna be a simple and powerful example. A link connect our markup to our CSS and download one. Okay, this one from Font Awesome because we need some icons, okay? And once this is done, let's go to the bottom of our page, close to the closing body tag, and here let's have a script point to external JavaScript file, okay? So our boilerplate is done. All right, now let's create our simple markup, okay? Let's have our main div results. And inside this one, we're gonna have our placeholders. Okay, the, the div is gonna be result. And we're gonna have some IDs for the JavaScript. Okay, cat result and dog result. Let's have also a paragraph inside of this one. Say cat placeholder. Let me just copy this one and paste it here. And instead of cat, we're gonna have dog. Okay and our placeholders are done. Let me put side by side so you can see what we have so far. Looks like we don't have a lot, but that's it until now. Our markup is really quite simple, okay? One last thing we need here is gonna be buttons, okay? Let's create a div buttons, and inside this one, let's create two buttons. Those ones are gonna be using, using JavaScript, to load the pictures of cat or dog. And the first one, get cat. And the second one is gonna be get dog, okay? We also need here a ID because we're gonna be using name using JavaScript. So cat, btn, and id, dog, btn. All right. I came across with another idea, okay? Almost all web dev likes dog or cat, right? Let me know what you like the most, dog or cats. So I decided to have an icon, it's easy to do, okay? So I'm gonna have an icon inside the button. The first one here is gonna have a cat, cat icon from Font Awesome. And let's look for a dog here. And yeah, looks like we found one. Let's just copy this link here and paste behind, uh, behind the name. And let me save. As you can see, we have a dog icon, okay? All right, we are in the realm of the CSS. Let's show a little bit of art, okay? This project is for uh, JavaScript, but we can have some style, okay? So the body here, let's Use the font family from Google Fonts, Poppins, okay? You can grab it from there. As fallback, we have some serif. As you can see, it's much better now. Display is gonna be flex, okay? It put things side by side, horizontally. We do not want that. So we're gonna change that to flex to the actual column, okay? So one stack on the top of each other. And we want to put it in the middle so align height and center. Justify content is gonna be also center, but you ought to put them in the middle. Let's give it a height of 100 
VH. And yeah, the content is, is right in the middle when you give it a save. Yeah, it's right here. I also want to remove some margin, margin zero, but before that I'm gonna show you why I wanna do that. Let me create this border, one pixel solid around it. As you can see, we have this border, okay? So margin zero, and we just get rid of that. All right, and now we're gonna grab the results. But first of all, I'm gonna show you what the results really are. Let's use our favorite border again. And this place is gonna be flex because we want them side by side. In one side, the cat, and in another one, we have the dog, okay? Align the items is gonna be center, and just find content also center. The result was just the main diff. Now let's grab the placeholder itself, okay? The one that's gonna have the pictures. So result, let's have our borders here again, our favorite borders, so you see where they are, okay, in the beginning. And let's start by changing the color. Background color here is gonna be white. You can pick the one that fits your project. Display flex, okay? Align the items is gonna be center. And let's have also just five content center. Let's put them apart, okay? How? We're gonna use here some margin, 10 pixels, okay? And yeah, they are by 10 pixels. And one more thing we're gonna do here is give it a height of 400 pictures and width of 300 pixels. As you can see, they are much bigger right now. And it looks like we no longer need those borders, okay? So let me get rid of this one for now. I'm gonna comment this out. Okay, Dev, without our borders, now we came across with another issue. The background is white and the placeholder too. So let's have a linear gradient here. Okay, this one is gonna be black. It's gonna go away from this color here. Black with dot six transparent. Let me show you. Yeah, now we can see the placeholder, but we can do better than that, okay? So in order to do that, what we're gonna do, we're gonna add also a background. So URL, this picture here is gonna be down below in the video description. So you can download this one, okay? So as you can see, it really fits the project. Let's also have a shorthand here, center, center, cover, okay? And yeah, it's pretty nice, pretty good, okay? The next step here, we are gonna grab the placeholders. We don't have pictures on these placeholders, but we will have, okay? This will be outpopulate using JavaScript. So let's take care of that, okay? Of the size and position. Object fit. And height is gonna be 100%, and width is gonna be also 100%. Make it easy and logic for you to follow along. We're gonna go in from top to bottom. So now buttons, display flex and align in the centers. Just like content also center, okay? This is the div. Okay, devs, our buttons are not that beautiful, are they? So let's take care of that with background color here is gonna be a bluish color, okay? And for the border, we want to say no border at all. Border radius for pixels, make it round or its corners. And also here for the color of the text and the icon, it's going to be white, okay? So it's easier to read. Font size is going to be bigger, 18 pixels, okay? Padding is going to be 10 pixels all the way around, okay? And we will also want to put in a part to an image of 10 pixels. And about the size, let's give a width, the same width of the placeholder of 300 pixels. All right, Dev, we are almost there before we go into our JavaScript, but I want to add some effect to our button, okay? 
So let's use transform scale dot nine seven as you can see, nice effect, and the users see some inter interactivity. Okay, and one more thing about the buttons, yeah, it's nice. Okay, I stopped that. Uh, now uh, let's go to the button again, and on focus, we want to get rid of this ugly outline so outline here is gonna be none let me show you yeah we have this nice effect here and with no outline at all next step let's go into javascript we are in the realm of the javascript where all the magic happens let's copy those ids and let's paste this in here we want to get some reference today so let's do it and save into variables okay equals document get element by id you remember we create those ideas once you have this reference we can do whatever we want okay another thing we need here is going to be those two buttons we need to add some event listen to them so add event listen on click okay and when this click happens, we want to run those two functions, get random cat and get random dog. And now let's create those functions. Let's create the function get uh, random cat, okay, from this API, okay. There is a link down below in the video description. Let's just copy this one, okay. And let's pass in into the fetch, okay. So you have the function, get random cat, we have the fetch, and this is gonna get, give us a response. This response we want to translate into JSON, okay? So now we have JSON, then we're gonna grab the data, wherever the data is, and let's do something with that. In our case, we are gonna populate the DOM, okay? So let's grab the get result dot in HTML and create a a image tag source dollar sign in data file out here is gonna be a cat and let's just close this okay and let's see if that works okay let me just give a click here get cat okay we have a cat one more and as you can see it's working we grab the api so far we have just the cat okay but we want to have a cat and the dog so let's copy those function they are very similar okay and here function get to rental dog let's also change here the api you can go back to the API website and see there is ducks and different animals okay you don't have to have cats and dogs like I'm doing here and in this case here instead of data let me just change this one okay dog result and here instead of data dot file we have data dot URL okay for the out dog I made a mistake here it's not outer but out and let's see okay we have a cat and we don't have a dog looks like I did some mistake somewhere let me look for it okay it's here we don't have this AWS we have just random.dog let's give it a try we have a cat and now we have a dog a big dog okay okay another one a wise one a happy one okay guys that's all for today I really hope you like it if you like it you know what to do thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss videos like this one every week Bye-bye. See you in the next one.